Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be going over how to make the Mana Enchanter from Botania. So, what we're going to do is dig out a 3x3 like this, take out the sides also. So you should end up with something like this. Fill in the sides with obsidian, like so. Next, you're going to want to make a plus sign in the middle, leaving the corners open, and you can put grass there, coarse dirt, whatever. So you'll look like that. Next, we need our lapis, which we're just going to place in the center like that. Now, at this part, you can place down any of the uh, naturally occurring flowers. So no man-made flowers on these four corners. And from here, you're going to want to go out one, two, three, four, five blocks, place down one of these. Then three blocks out and one out over. And same thing over here, three blocks, one over. Put your uh, mana pylons on top of these flowers. They don't have to be white flowers, so any uh, any one of them will work. Two, three, four, five. I think I got that. Three in there. Same thing on this side. You place down your mana pylons on top of your flowers. And that's that. it for that part. If you did everything right, you're going to right-click the wand of the forest, and it's going to make your mana enchanter block. Now to actually enchant items with this, you're going to need uh, some sort of enchanted book and you're going to need a tool. And also, I'm going to power using sparks and we've got a mana pool, hopefully that's close enough. And what that's going to do is give you mana to enchant your items instead of using experience. So right click your tool or armor inside of the enchanter itself. And let's grab our books. We can just throw down the books. Uh, within this little circle area and it'll detect the books and then show uh, the enchanter what to uh, enchant the tool with. So if we right click this you heard that kind of clicking noise confirming that it's going. It's going to do this animation for a bit and it looks like we might be a little too far away. Okay, that's my bad. Let's grab one of these. You can also uh, Supply the mana using mana spreaders. So now it should be working there. Now you can see the little timer on the side going all around. The more mana you supply it, the better off it is or quicker it goes. And also the more books you use, the slower it goes. So you can see the cool little animation it does. And uh, once that's done, it's going to make that noise telling you you're all good to go. Right click it to get it out. And you can see we've got mending and efficiency on here. And we also still have both of our books. So that's really useful for something like Mending or Silk Touch where you don't have a lot of those or they're rare and you don't want to lose the book. Uh, makes this little setup uh, pretty, pretty useful. And uh, that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.